We're told a UIC facilities person stumbled upon the attack as it was taking place. That's when the man who was apparently startled ran away. Dr. Klepek says it's not too late to get a flu shot, and today you can get them in many places. Thieves got in through here, a side door the staff thought was locked. At this point, it sounds like maybe this can all be resolved. They're taking this one day at a time. She, of course, would like for her plan to come through in terms of being able to build a home in Laporte. We don't know what's going to happen. Again, we have to watch, wait, and see. All right, keep us posted, Carmen. Thanks. And something else that may help Saudi Arabia just announcing that it's stepping up crude oil production. Yes, that's right. That announcement came just yesterday, and increasing the oil production should also bring down gas prices within four to six weeks. Hopefully before the summer travel oh, yeah. season is over. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Carmen. Didn't the mayor also lock down property taxes to, uh, to attempt to fund some of the police stations, though? Yes, he did. That was for four years in a row, and he was reminded of this today. And while this did contribute to higher property taxes, the mayor said it simply had to be done. He had nowhere to go, Marianne. I guess we like what taxes do for us. We just don't like to pay them, do we? Well, that hurts. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Carmen. Cook County Specialist Dr. Daniel Rehorchek tells me if a person has elevated mercury in their body, they will monitor them until they're back down to normal, and that can take several months. Linda and Mike? But these tests are very straightforward, right? Oh, yes. They're not complicated at all. They give you in the kit, they give you this that you can put on your toilet seat to collect the specimen. And then you've got this, and it looks like a gallon jug. Because you can you're transfer be, it into this, right? Exactly. And you're going to be collecting this over 24 hours. Then you take it into the lab, and you'll have your test results in 7 to 10 days. Thank you, That's Carmen. That's all. Okay. Thanks, Carmen. Carmen, good morning. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Marianne. Did you know that this is the eighth snowiest December on record? And people are complaining that it's hard to get around with all this piled up snow. But the aldermen now, they see that that's happening and they're quick to pass the buck. They want to blame it all on the mayor's choice to head the streets and sanitation department. But the mayor says he'll have none of that. The mayor says they're working as well as they can, that considering all this heavy snow every other day, the city has not shut down. People can get around, he says. The streets are open, but you just can't evaporate all this snow. Yeah, Al, Al's done a good job. He, he's always done a good job. He's, uh, I call him the alley man. He's a good streets and sanitation man. I'm proud of him. It makes me feel real good because I think the you know, mayor realizes the fact that, you know, it's a tough job we're doing. And, uh, and again, the mayor is very concerned about uh, public safety in the city. And he's always told us that, you know, uh, do the best job we can. Right now, all 256 trucks are working the main streets, Lakeshore Drive and the Skyway, tackling the morning rush before heading back to duty on the side streets. Now, the mayor says each ward superintendent should actually organize the block clubs throughout the city, that neighbors should help each other dig their cars out, then call the city so they can send a plow truck out to them so they can clean the streets all the way to the curb. Jay and Marianne? You know, it's a sticky situation. On the one hand, they complained the aldermen did when uh, Eileen Carey spread a two-inch thick layer of salt on the streets before even the first flake fell. Now they're complaining that not enough is being done. You know, you can never, you can never win. In well, a situation and, and you like can't that. keep up when it's snowing this much every other day. I right. mean, you know, the guys are working double duty. They're working longer hours. Some of them were complaining they weren't enjoying this holiday. What can you do? It's Mother Nature. It's here. I mean, look, it's starting to snow again already. Yeah, at least the traffic's moving behind you pretty well there. It is, Thanks, it is. That, that's a good sign. I wouldn't mind being in that traffic, but the <laughs> other day, forget it. <laughs> I don't want a rerun of that myself. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Velas always has all the answers for us. <laughs> I good wish morning. I did, Jay. I wish I did. Please, don't jump. Yeah, I got a question <laughs> for you. Do you both remember the blizzard of 79? You do. We were all here. Sure. We were covering sure. that election. And we remember the big triumph of Jane Byrne over Michael Volandic. It's no secret that snow like this can and does cost an election. It's done it here in Chicago. And that's why the finger pointing has already begun. Scooping up the fallen snow. It's cost more than 12 million so far, and still people are grumbling, criticizing all the monuments of piled up snow. 
blocking Chicago intersections, to which the mayor responds, get real. You just can't, you know, evaporate all the snow. I wish we could, but that's how you have to start piling, and I hate to say it, you have to pile, and that's what's going to happen. You can take certain piles away, but you can't keep hauling away because it's more and more expensive. The mayor has nothing but praise for his streets and sanitation chief, a man he affectionately calls Alley Man. You know, it's a tough job we're doing, and, uh, and again, the mayor is very concerned about uh, public safety in the city, and he's always told us to, you know, uh, do the best job we can, and I think, uh, you know, we try that. We're trying to do that, and I think the mayor appreciates that, and it makes us all feel real good. People that are still buried, uh, if they want to get out there and start digging themselves out, I mean, we'll help them out by putting a plow down there, but it's up to them to help us out. And now the mayor is calling on a slogan reminiscent of the Kennedys when it comes to the battle with snow. Ask not what your city can do for you. Ask what you can do to help your city help you. Each ward superintendent, we have that responsibility. and said, here, I got this block, boom, let's do it, or two or three blocks. It's better if you have three or four blocks. Even if you have one car, you can go around the one car. That's, you have to get most of them out. So far, close to two feet of snow have already fallen. This is just the first day of winter, and you know there is a lot more to come. That's why the mayor is counting on his ward superintendents to get out those cars as well as the votes. Jay and Marianne, photographer Jimmy Ryan and I were talking about that big election in, in the, around 79. We can't remember who it was that Jane Byrne actually went on to defeat. Who was it? Oh, that's a good question, Carmen. Jane Byrne defeated Jane Byrne defeated. She, we, we can see she him. Defeated, well, we she she defeated Melandic in the primary, uh -huh. and then in the general election. Holland, John Holt was that John Holland that she defeated John back Hol then, mm. or was that one uh, late John Holland? That's it, Johnson. I don't know. Johnson. All right, we have to revisit this and All find right. out. That's but that's a good trivia question. Trivia question you got this it. morning. You stumped us. It's our final <laughs> answer. Thanks, Carmen. We'll find out for later. The city's going to try to get some of the snow off the streets and off the side streets too, but. Where are they going to put it all? Let's go to Carmen Velez, who's outside Snow Command, uh, Snow Command Central at City Hall. Uh, where are they going to put it, Carmen? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll find a place where they'll cross their fingers and, and hope for it to melt, but I don't know. There's no sign of it. It's too frigid. Who wants to dig out their car when it's this cold? However, this is the nerve center of the streets and sanitation department, and when that storm does hit, they will adjust their game plan in direct proportion to the falling snow. That's why here at Snow Command, every television, every monitor, and every radar is tuned in and monitored to project when the snow hits so they can time their battle plan and send out their fleet at the first sign of snow. Until then, 